brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to change the pads and rotors on this 97 Cadillac DeVille. Uh, this vehicle, the brakes are actually in good shape, so we just show you how to take them apart and put them back together. Uh, you can order new rotors and pads from 1A Auto. Uh, this is the same for a 96 to 99 DeVille. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 15 and 19 millimeter sockets with ratchet and extension, and you'll need a breaker bar or a pipe for extra leverage for a couple of the bolts and also a large C clamp. Okay, use a screwdriver. I like to use a rag so I don't scratch the wheel or the center cap right underneath there. Okay, these lug nuts are 19 millimeter. Uh, if you don't have the benefit of air tools, you'll want to start with the wheel on the ground, loosen the lug nuts, then raise and secure the vehicle, and remove the lug nuts the rest of the way. And now with your wheel turned, you can see right inside here, uh, you can see that little hole in the brake pad. That is actually a wear indicator. Um, so it would indicate that on this brake pad you're in good shape. And then if you look at uh, your outer pad, uh, we can see that there's some, still some pretty good life left in it. Um, and then you want to make sure you check both sides because sometimes you can have one side that's not worn the other side can be more worn. Um, but uh, our brakes are fine. I have checked both sides, but I am going to take them apart and put them back together just to show you how to do it. So the next thing you want to do is remove these two uh, bolts here, which uh, releases your caliper. These two bolts are 15 millimeter. And they should just come apart pretty easily. Okay, and we'll speed it up here as we take out those bolts. Okay, you'll make sure that before you put these back together that these pins are nice and clean and they have a little bit of grease on them and these look very good. wrench here to kind of pry my caliper off. Alright, let me just put the caliper up here out of the way. Okay, so there's our inner pad again, our outer pad, and you can see the wear mark there. Um, they still got some good life on them, not a, not a ton of miles, but definitely don't need to replace them yet. But if you did want to replace them, you can just pull your uh, pads right out like that. Okay, okay now your rotors, and on this vehicle, um, well, most vehicles what you want to do is take your uh, back of your fingernail, kind of run along the rotors, feel for any deep grooves or gouges, and then just kind of inspect the condition of the rotors. And this, these look absolutely fine. 
Um, if you feel any grooves or there's too much rust or corrosion or your rotors look thin, then you do want to replace them. To remove and replace the rotors, there's two large bolts here and here. These bolts are 15 millimeters as well. So what I have here is my um, my ratchet, and I'm going to use a piece of pipe. Okay, the pipe goes on there, gives me some extra leverage, and I'll push slowly down on the pipe. I can feel the bolts start to break loose. On the top here, I'm going to use a short extension. Piece of pipe again. It's easy pressure until the bolt starts to break loose. And then once that bracket's off, the rotor comes simply comes right off. What I like to do is I just put one lug nut on, just kind of help hold it in place. The bracket goes between the knuckle and the rotor. Then the bolt goes in with the spacer on the back. Okay, we'll speed up here as we just uh, put those bolts in and tighten them up preliminarily. And tighten it to 85 foot pounds. And you want to use a wire brush. You can actually take these slides off, and you want to clean out where the uh, and you want to clean out where the pads move back and forth. Your pads. Uh, obviously, I'm not re I'm not putting new pads in because mine are fine. What this vehicle really needed was a new hub. So, but put the pads back in just by placing them. Like that. And if you're putting new pads on, you'll need to. You can see my cylinder is out of the caliper some, so you'll need to push that cylinder back in. You do that with a large C-clamp. Okay, we'll speed up here as we uh, tighten up that clamp, push that piston back in. Uh, you may want to remove, uh, check your brake fluid. If it's over full, you may want to remove some of the fluid so it doesn't leak out. Okay, put the slides back in, make sure they're nice and clean and have some grease on them. Uh, tighten them up with your ratchet and socket and pull them nice and snug. They should be probably about 25 to 30 foot-pounds. And then remove that lug nut. And now we can put our tire back on. Uh, start the lug nuts by hand, tighten them up preliminarily with your wrench. 
and then you'll do the rest of the tightening when the car is on the ground and now here with the car on the ground tighten the lug nuts up to 90 to 100 foot pounds using a star pattern and then most important is the last step make sure whenever you take your brakes apart pump your brakes a bunch of times first do a test stop from like 5 and then 10 miles an hour before you do a road test we hope this helps you out brought to you by www.1aauto.com your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.